We're here today talking about yams versus sweet potatoes. Yams and sweet potatoes are botanically distinct, although their names are used interchangeably. Sweet potatoes are creamy white and yams are golden orange. Add many marshmallows to both of these and they're going to taste the same. Sweet potatoes are a member of the Morning Glory family and come in a variety of colors. An 8 ounce serving of sweet potatoes and yams, which is about half, contains about 200 calories versus 150 calories. Both sweet potatoes and yams are high in fiber, which is great for the gastrointestinal system. They are also filled with minerals such as potassium. Sweet potatoes are much easier to cut than yams, and they're creamier like a regular potato. They're very easy to cook. You just bake them in the oven or chop them into smaller pieces. Sprinkle with olive oil or coconut oil, a little bit of cinnamon and salt, and you're good to go. Bake for about a half an hour. We were talking about that gut-brain relationship, but we've got to look at now the information that we have that shows that almost all diseases are fully reversible and most of them are through diet. And a common one is celiac. Celiac disease can also trigger, and it's been shown to be related to MS, ALS, cancer, Alzheimer's, and other things. Celiac is not only the issue by itself. It's connected to many other things with the blood. But most of us also don't know that um, this can be due to the intestinal sprue we were
I'm Charles Luce of Luce's Gluten-Free Artisan Bread, a company that's based in New Jersey, and what we sell are gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, nut-free, and soy-free dry blends for savory mixing. Gluten-Free Magazine is a 100% gluten-free food and lifestyle magazine. With over 50 gluten-free recipes, we cover dairy-free, egg-free, nut-free, soy-free, corn-free, rice-free. We also have a dairy-free and egg-free replacement guide in every issue, so you can make all of our recipes either dairy or egg-free, and if you make them both dairy and egg-free, you can also make them vegan. Hail Mary is a award winning women-owned company out of Dallas, Texas. We've been in business for six years. We started in the founder's home, and we've been growing ever since. We're all about the purity of our ingredients. So. These are the, our miracle tarts are made with organic raw coconut oil, and then we take a flavoring, be it fair trade dark cocoa or um, almond butter, and we add it to it. And then here are our macaroons. So these are our desserts. These are our snacks. We have vanilla, which is our blonde, chocolate, strawberry, and caramel. And you're all gluten free. Gluten free, dairy free, vegan, so no animal products non-GMO, so no genetically modified foods, no processed sugars, no processed oils, no processed grains, so we're paleo friendly too. So we are uh, UB Live and Spark. We make nutrient-dense food products for, uh, for people across North America. Uh, our product is uh, nutrient-dense, which what that means is it's got the most nutrition uh, per gram of any product that you'll uh, try uh, in your grocery store. And uh, essentially, what we are is um, the nutrient dense is made through a patent process. Uh, we start with 10 pounds of raw ingredients, and we get it down to one pound through our patent process. Uh, one pound of finished product, and uh, within that, uh, we've got uh, we don't lose any of the nutrients or micronutrients. And then, so that's the basis of the product. We are happen to be gluten free and nut free as well. So each one of our muffins, it's a our nutrient dense muffins, has nine grams of protein a full serving of fruits and vegetables, five grams of fiber, it's gluten-free and nut-free.
lab tested gluten free. It's a celiac owned business. The products are all waterless for two reasons water conservation, and secondly, a lot of body care products these days use up to 70% water. When they do that, they have to use preservatives to prevent mold. We've chosen to use plant-based nutrients, no water, no preservatives. The two common ingredients in our products, argan oil from Morocco, it's very good for your skin and hair. Also, another ingredient is called heliochrysum. It's a rare flower from the Mediterranean. I'm Kim Bauer. I've got Miriam International. The reason I come to this show, the gluten-free and allergen-free show, is because there are so many people here that have been suffering from what's going on internally showing up externally. And this product really helps a lot of people heal. So we're a plant-based, botanical um, type product. It's a patented antioxidant from the Nerium oleander plant. We have gluten-free, organic, non-GMO, um, no preservatives added, spice blends. No salt or sugar. Love is an all, your all-purpose um, seasoning salt. We use pink Himalayan salt. And Faith actually is a great, it's pie in a bottle. So if you want to see us, um, come check us out at virtualdiving.com. I'm Steve with Sam J. We make uh, certified gluten-free soy sauces, cooking sauces, crackers. Uh, we have a lot, uh, big assortment of all kinds of gluten-free products. Uh, we're a 212-year-old company, but we've been in the United States for 35 years. We're the first organic winery in the country, and as well as the first biodynamic winery in the country. As such, we, can't, we don't add any sulfites, which is something people tend to have allergies to. We use a clay, which is one of the oldest forms of um, filtration, so there's no contamination there, but some wineries will use a flour base, or if you're vegan, Sometimes there's eggshells or eggs. Using the stainless steel tanks helps us not need to use sulfites because it's a preservative. We're here today in my kitchen and we're making avocado chocolate frosting. You may think that sounds strange, but it, in the Hispanic culture, it's very common. We're replacing butter with an alternate source of butter fat, and that's avocado. We'll work with one avocado. Slice that in half, and make sure and look and see that there's no brown areas. We'll add that to our bowl that already contains a quarter cup of agave and we'll just add in one quarter cocoa powder. We'll give it a good mix and it's best to mash the avocado first. Once the avocado is mashed, it really is a fast stir. So as you can see, it's a little green and it's a little brown. So make sure and continue to mix it until it's finally stirred in. This is a great alternative to using butter. It's best to mix this in a stainless steel bowl. And your friends are going to love it because it's so unique. They use a tongue and groove barrel so that it seals well. And most wine barrels are sealed with a flour glue. They make sure that that glue is on top. In addition, they power steam their barrels out with water that's 220 degrees to make sure that it's completely clean when they're done. So and that's what makes this wine gluten-free. They're very, very careful in their candles. Mark Hamm and I with uh, Noji. We're sampling our gluten-free bars that are paleo. So they're dairy-free, soy-free, all natural, no preservatives. And we're featuring our nuts about berries flavor here today. Where can we find you? Locally, Safeway, um, Whole Foods, Small Greens, CVS. Where are you manufactured? Manufactured in California. So this is our keeper. Well, it's a probiotic you, you blend of ten compare, different strains, and um, it's really good for baking or smoothies. 
and it's lactose free. How did they find that lactose free cow? <laughs> well, it's not the cow. We just add the enzyme lactase, and it naturally converts the lactose into digestible sugars. Okay, our product is Canyon Oats and Gia Harvest. Um, it is a product full of oats. What we do is we have a ready-to-go product that is um, takes about five minutes to cook. Just add boiling water into it. Let it sit for five minutes with the top on, and you have your breakfast ready. We also offer just a regular oatmeal and granola for your baking needs and getting ready to go outside. Are these certified organic? They are. Some of ours are certified organic. You can order that on our website, just our regular oats. And they're certified uh, gluten-free? They're certified gluten-free and kosher also. And the name of your company? I'm with TH Foods. I'm representing Crunchmaster crackers and crisps today and chips. Uh, they're gluten-free, all natural. Most of them are baked. We have a couple of new ones that are popped at Amame. With our sea salt and wasabi soy, brand new flavors here. Very lovely. Uh, we're going to be introduced into the market uh, the way we introduce distribution right now. We have uh, a full line and we continue to innovate and introduce new flavors and products every year. Where can we find you? You can find us at all the major retailers, mostly uh, natural food stores, locally we're in Whole Foods, Routes. My name is Nina Ball, I'm the owner of Dawson's Fine Foods and we're here in San Mateo at the Blue Flame Expo. It's been a great show, we have a great bunch of seasonings that people have really been loving. Um, our website is www.doxysfinefoods.com. And tell me, what can we use these on? Sure, these are actually seasonings and an onion soup mix that you can pretty much season anything with. We have recipes, you can make them into dressings, dips, and marinades. Pretty much, the sky's the limit. Hi, my name is Sarah Solid. We're with Ginny Bakes. We are certified organic, gluten free, kosher dairy. We have nine flavors of cookies, four different types of bars, and baked mixes. Yeah, and the bakes. And where are you available? Right now, we're, our bake mixes are available at Whole Foods. Hello, my name is Winning from Linwood's Health Food. Linwood Health Food has a wonderful variety of superfood blends, such as flaxseed, cocoa, strawberry, and blueberry. We also have other blends, such as the shelled hemp. We have plain flaxseed, flaxseed with goji berries, and flaxseed, sunflower, pumpkin, and sesame seed and goji berries. This is one of our top sellers. We also have wonderful mini travel size packs that we are launching this year as well. The Superfoods is wonderful to add to breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It will nutritionally enhance any meal that you are cooking with. Great for kids, you can just sneak right into cereals, salads, it will really help to build their immune system. We have lots of great information on our website and wonderful recipes that you can cook for you and your family. Please visit our website at www.linwoodshealthfoods.com. Com. My name is Emily Horton and I'm with Enjoy Life Foods. We have a 43 item line that is certified gluten free. It's also free of the top 8 allergens as well as being non-GMO verified. So we are excited to be here at the Gluten Free Expo and we have plenty of things to sample today. Our lentils, lentil chips as well as our chewy bars and decadent bars as well as we have granola and cookies. And what, why are you different from the other products out there? You know, what really makes us different is that we're very focused on the allergy community. So we have no egg, no soy, no dairy, no nuts, no wheat, no fish or shellfish in anything that we produce. We're also in a dedicated nut-free, dairy-free, gluten-free facility outside of Chicago, Illinois. Today we're at the Heirloom Expo 2015 in Santa Rosa, California. I'm very pleased to be speaking to Rachel Parent. She's a key note speaker today at the Heirloom. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. So what are you speaking about and what exactly do you do here? And Well, you're going to be speaking here at the Heirloom Festival, but what is your forte? What is, what is your points about non-GMO and well, um, I have an organization and we focus on labeling GMOs. I'm based out of Canada, um, but we really try to empower kids around the world to make a difference in their own lives by making healthier food choices. Um, so right now in Canada and the U.S., we do not have mandatory GMO labeling, and that's what we've been working towards. So where in Canada are you involved? Are you in uh, British Columbia or 
Toronto area? I'm based out of Toronto. Toronto. And are you going into the schools and talking to the schools and are they allowing you and are they open to it? Actually, it's been incredible. We've had requests from hundreds and hundreds of schools for me to come speak. Um, and that's actually been a challenge for us because we don't have the resources to go out to all these schools. But that's why right now um, we're creating an education package in which we'll be sending it out to 88 schools across Canada to start off with. Um, and hopefully that will help about 88,000 kids. Um, so that's, that's our first goal. Um, so we're obviously going to need help with that, but it's, it's in the runs right now. Um, and yeah, schools are very open to it and they're willing to know and kids want this information, teachers want this information because these biotech companies are infiltrating the schools and only giving them one side of the story. Do you think that it's a generational thing where the younger people are more interested in what they're eating and what's going on with the environment? where the older people are close to it and they're used to the way it is and they're they're not as open. Oh, 100%. I mean, I think our generation and the generations from a couple of years before us have become so awakened to this issue and so much more conscious about it and they realize the mistakes from the past and want to create solutions for the future. So, how old are you? I'm 16. You're 16 years old. Okay, so when did you start thinking about this uh, non-GMO and how did you come across it and why did you come across it at what age? I was 11 years old. Um, I had to do a project for school and I had no clue what to do it on, but I knew I wanted to do it on something that would impact a lot of people. So I thought, what better than our food system because after all, we all have to eat. So I got more involved in it, found out about GMOs and their health and environmental risks, found out that none of my peers knew what they were. And at that point, I knew I had to take action. So I started my own organization, started speaking, debated Kevin O'Leary, um, did a TEDx talk. It's, it's been an incredible journey. So what do you know about GMO? Obviously, you don't eat GMO, genetically modified organism. But what do you think is the upside of it and the good side or the bad side of it? And is there any good of the GMO industry? As we speak right now, there is no good side. Um, everything that's marketed as being a, a benefit of GMOs is propaganda at this point. Um, there's so many disadvantages of GMO crops, one being for health. It's been related to things like allergies, digestive disorders, organ damage, even things like tumors. And for our environment, it's been related to things like the dying off of our bees and our butterflies, um, soil and water contamination with extra pesticides and herbicides, um, new super weeds and super bugs. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Um, and this well, is, okay. They say that they're, you cannot connect the dots yet. They know that in the lab uh, animals that it's doing that, but they haven't really connected the dots with all these digestive diseases and, and cancer and, and all these disorders in the body are happening to humans and the bees dying off they haven't really connected it it makes logical sense that yes that's happening the neonicotides uh, toxics in the sprays and they're bringing that back to the bee colonies now that's what they're thinking but they haven't really come out and said scientifically that this is what it is so what are your thoughts on that it's been confirmed, at least in Canada, that neonicotinoids uh, have a very strong correlation to the dying off of our bees, and they've done multiple studies now in Canada. Um, and what's happening is uh, GMOs are actually widely used with neonicotinoids, so there's a strong correlation between then GMOs and the dying off of our bees. It's all connected. So at 11 years old, you did a school project, and that tipped your interest right there and now you're very, very passionate about it. So the schools are open to it. And when you go into a school, what is a typical lecture and how do the kids receive you and the children? Are they full of questions and curiosity? And, and what's the experience of that? It's an incredible experience going into schools and um, really learning from them as much as they learn from me. Um, in reality, when I go to schools, they're all my inspiration. Um, and we usually give lectures about not only the issues with GMOs, but the solutions on how they can make changes in their diet and their lifestyle. Um, because it can be hard only hearing the problem without knowing what they can do about it. 
cross-contamination is a big issue with celiac disease. So you want to make sure and measure everything very, very carefully and use the one scoop method. Right now you'll see that I have flour stored in an airtight container. At my home, I mainly cook with gluten-free flours. However, once in a while, I will use a wheat flour. I've got it stored in glass. It's an airtight container. And when I go to use it, I have special utensils that I use. So special measuring spoons and a cutting board, as well as measuring scoops. And I put a little dot of nail polish on them so I can tell them apart. I even have a special cutting board just for glutinous food products. So when you measure, you want to make sure you take your scoop and just dip one spoon in your container and measure it off. The same scoop goes into the container and then I immediately put them into the sink and I have a special cleaning bowl as well as a special sponge that I use to wipe my board. This has been your tip today from Vita Nutrition and the Gluten-Free Show.